Tuna Mac Creator features different modes of input for template input. So if we choose a template like the uh, rectangle here, I can change the mode of input to suit. So at the moment I can go to in out mode or inside out mode where I can choose the image size and then set my margin all the way around. Or alternatively, I can change the mode of input to say four borders mode where I can be working with a frame or glass size first and then change my borders so I'm working from the outside in or you can use standard mode and standard mode means you're working with say a set frame size and then you can type in an image size so that it will automatically be centered and then you can offset that with a couple of options there for the left and the bottom. Standard mode is the most popular mode to use when you're doing multiple opening layouts. Let's say, for example, we've taken a photograph of something. For example, this child's jumper. I'm going to select all of this and copy it to the Windows clipboard and then I'm going to paste it into the background of the GMC software. I'm going to move to draw mode and with my drawing tools I can now zoom in and draw around the shape however I see fit. So I'm just going to draw with straight lines and I can come back and adjust these straight lines into curves afterwards. I'm using the mouse wheel to zoom in and out as I'm drawing. And so now I can also uh, remove the image from the background and transplant it again so I can compare and see the shape that I'm cutting. And here now I can even go and select the shape that I've drawn. I may be able to select certain lines and zoom in and can add little curves where I need to. I can still choose to modify and adjust any points to make the image the shape suit the image in the background. And so now you can see when I view this in normal mode I've created a new shape ready to cut and I can adjust the dimensions of the shape with our transform properties, measure across the width of the jumper and add in the new dimension that I require it to be. And so there is my new finished mat based on the shape of the jumper in the background. As you know, you can see the templates are categorized here on the left hand side of the screen. I'm going to click on our corners tab and you can see it reveals here many different shaped corners for us to choose from. I'm going to select this uh, rounded corner template, the B160. So I click here and now I have a choice to enter in my input dimensions. So for the opening width up here I'm going to change that to 200 millimeters. Hit tab to go to the next field, 300 millimeters. I'll leave the margins and the left and bottom margins as they are. But now you can also see here on the diagram I can click and change these corners um, to default them into a rectangle. But additional to this, I can right click on a corner and select new corner, which will bring up a menu where now I can select to choose a different shaped corner. So for here, I might choose the B150 rounded corner, and I now have a different shaped corner. And I can do the same thing here on this side. I can go right click, choose the B150, and you can see I have a different shape. I'm going to show you how to create a name mat using the GMC text mode. So in order to do that we're going to move up to change the mode here to text mode and you'll see the dialog on the left hand side of the screen changes and here with this drop down menu we can choose through our Windows fonts um, all our different fonts that are stored in the Windows fonts directory but here I can now type in a word, so in this case I'll type in a familiar word to me, Jared. 
and um, and there it is except now I want the mat board to be cropped to the right size so based on the uh, left margin being 40 and the bottom margin be 40 I probably want the top and the right to be 40 as well so the quick and easy way to change the size of the mat board without having to mathematically add it all up is to go to your dynamic OM button and then click on control and then left click on that and here you can change your parameters for your dynamic outside measurement so I'm gonna make it 40 all the way around and then click on OK and then when I actually left click on this button it will dynamically resize the mat board for me based on 40 mils all the way around from the openings and so there we have it there's my um, name mat so I'm ready now to take that into cut mode okay let's have a look at the new merge feature of the Gunnar mat creator software first of all to demonstrate this I'll create a rectangle here and I'm happy with those dimensions and let's create also maybe a small circle or oval I'll change the dimensions here 50 by 70 millimeters and we will lock that in as well so now if I want to integrate this uh, circle or oval into the rectangle I can move over to my merge tab properties here I can choose a particular mode of merge we have four different modes of merge we've got merge union merge intersect merge trim and we also have merge path so you can see here now I can dynamically move this around and when I let go that will create my new merged shape so if there is a particular template that you prefer to use more often than others you can go right click on that template add to your favorites folder and now that template is available on the front favorites template panel so now we can click on this enter in our dimensions and it's available for us when it suits us another customizable feature of the Gunnar Mac Creator software is the dynamic ability to zoom in and out on any shape with the mouse using the mouse wheel so this makes it convenient for you to have a look at any fine detail make any adjustments required on any shape or design on the screen just by using the mouse wheel